Hey guys, welcome back today. We're going to be playing Raise the Floppa. Yeah, so this game is about clicking to get money. Give me money now, precious Floppa. You are my servant, and you're going to have to do it. Now, actually, I'm going to have to tell you a funny story about something. So, I kind of lost all of my progress because, uh, uh, I don't know, I accidentally... But I don't know. I decided to reset. I was like at the point where the bandits were starting to happen. You know if I, if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So we're just gonna play, be playing Raise and Floppa. It's a pretty simple game. All you do is feed your. Oh. You just take it on. But come on, Floppa. You better give me more money. 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 I'm gonna thank you. Oh, a scratching post. Not bad. I guess we're just gonna keep buying until we get whatever there is. Blah blah blah. So, so far right now, we're just trying to get the Floppa a wife right now and feeding him, of course, because you need to feed him. Otherwise, he's gonna kill you, and you also get a badge called whatever. I'll put it on the screen. Now, give- now it's just a simulation of Give me money, Floppa, because you are my best friend. Come on. How much is your win? 50. Cool tip. You should- you should do this every day, like a day reset or something. Uh, yeah. More food for you. More spamming. And another dumb. Repeat and rinse until you get $500. Alright, we have gotten $500. Now we'll give him Mrs. Floppa. After that, you can get in the cat bed. Basically, she doubles money and but spawns annoying Floppa babies. So it's kind of a win and lose situation at the same time. So, yeah. Now let's go collect our money from our stupid roommate. Give me rent. Thank you. He's such a gentleman with his fedora. And just hope that you do not spawn any babies, like, very early game, because last time I played it, it was not that good. I can tell you. Now, I'm raising your rent. Fair enough. Huh. <laughs> You're kidding me. They just spawned a baby. This is not good because if, because if you keep spawning more babies, you're just gonna take up my food. Come on. Sir, you have a child. Another one? You're kidding me. I need to hurry up. Yeah, and after that, you can buy a cat bed or the cat. Or the baby bowl. So the stupid baby does not take up all of your time, you know? Now, I personally just saved up for the mate because the mate is basically gonna, like... She's gonna give you... She's gonna give you free food and also cleans you up. And the third one's fine. This is nice. Now just try to get the cat bed because cat bed is so great, you know? See? Look at this. It feeds it. It feeds it and replenishes it just in case anything bad happens. And also, she can also clean up, um, cleans up, cleans up poop, cleans up, um, poop, I guess you can say. See? That's why mate is so useful. Early game, at least. And late game. So you don't have to do, you don't have, you have less work to do. Come on. Now I want to get the cat bed so I can, so he can not starve. Oh yeah, and also by the way, it's best for you to save progress like every once in a while, just in case something bad happens. Oh wait, we have enough for the bed. Come on, bed. Oh come on! Oh my God, you're gonna die! Just hurry, eat, eat, eat. Come on. 
This is why you save. Thank goodness. Uh, that can happen as well, but I don't care. Now, please get a baby bowl. Because the baby bowl uh, prevents, I guess. Look at this sleeping. Isn't it adorable, guys? It's so great. Also, please subscribe because I need sleep. I have sleep deprivation, I swear. I think I hear something at the door. Who could it be? Wow! A ball of yarn. I'm gonna have to pass up on that. I don't know what it does. The ball of yarn is not a good offer, but... I don't know what it does at all, so how would I know? Now, just keep going until you get this thing. We almost have enough for stupid bingus. Now, yeah. Stupid bingus. And also, I don't know if the milk dish is that good anyways. I'm gonna buy it later, but who knows. Basically, he's just basically gonna collect your money so you don't have to walk. And the next step to this is the merchant for you to sell an auto clicker, because auto clickers are so good. So you don't have to collect money at all for anyone. And hopefully- you Oh my god, they just made another baby. This is nice. I love this game. Hey bud, your father's sleeping. Let him give him peace. Instead of tormenting- Yeah, that's what I thought, bud. Now let me try buying the milk dish and see if it's any good. It's not bad. Well, would you look at that? It's another day for me to bug my roommate. Alright, double again. That's actually so, such a good value. Come on. Raising your rent. Now we are almost close enough to buy you know who. It is the homie saga. <laughs> What does he do? Two times cash two times. A multiplier again. Oh, finally I finished 5k. Now with 5k, what you can you get? You can get a Necomate 2.0 or a catnip plant. I choose Necomate. Cause I'm a sim. Oh, you didn't hear anything. Okay, I take it back. I'm not a sim. Now you just have to wait. Oh. Someone else is knocking on the door. <gasps> I, I'll take it. It's just $10. I like this. Now let's rub it. It just gives you advice. Use fertilizer on catnip plant to speed up growth. Wow, so helpful. Oh wait, I just realized I have enough for the catnip plant. Basically... Basically helps you. I don't know. It's like right there. It grows. It basically it gives a temporary buff or something. Who knows? It's useful. Oh yeah, and also an H5. I'll explain what happens. Look at this. It's day, it's morning. Look at this, what we got there. Dear person reading this, I forgot to send you your house key to the house. Sorry about that, here you go. When you look at that, you have a sword stand, a fishing stand, and a dog house, and a UFO. So we're just gonna buy the sword. And a fishing rod, cause why not? Cause fishing is nice. <sighs> Fishing can give you a lot of things here. Let's just wait for one. See, you can get a fish. You can, you can give, give Flappa money. Where are you? Look at that. Very convenient. It's not too bad. So then we have. The Guard Doge. The Guard Doge is really useful against ban raids, and ban raids will start happening after you finish on after you unlock the outside area. And also now you have your Capnip Farm, Capnip Farm, Farm, which are fifty fifty dollars each. These are mainly used for mid slash late game because it just helps you generally. Yeah, but behind that door will lurk something. Now, let me collect my roommate cash for, for a minute. Thank you. And now we keep going until a band raid happens. 
You can also get money from the fish when you're using the fishing rod. You can just click it, boom, free money. So convenient. Oh wow, look, would you look at that? It's a meteor shower. Meteor shower also have the chance to like drop a meteorite, which is used for the UFO thing right there. And I'll tell you what what you'll need for whatever that for what apparent reason. After this, actually, I'm gonna go outside to f go try to find a meteorite without dying, of course. It's kind of harder to predict without the um, graphics up, but. I recommend you putting your graphics up because you can see the shadows of where the <gasps> meteors come from. So I'm just gonna have to use RNG. Or I can look up like that. Boom. Okay, let me see if I can find any. <gasps> oh my god. I can't find any meteorite. Meteorite's so hard to find. Oh. And also, it's a bot. It's a dog. And also, you can use a potion, and there's like mushrooms around here. Let me see if I can find any meteorite that's not on the roof. Um, I don't think me any meteorite spawn this. <gasps> There's one up there, God. Yeah, and then uh, you can go to UFO and buy some special stuff from the alien, I guess. Oh yeah, and also finally, the floppa eats your catnip plant. It's cool, I guess. Now. It, you get more money out of this, which is cool, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of sad that we didn't get the auto clicker on this kind of run, but who cares? Would you look at that? It's a brand new day. Oh, a band rate just started. Uh, okay. Okay, it's a good idea. Maybe. Okay, let's invest. Hurry up. Hurry up. Help me. Help me. Don't let any bandits kill your thing. Come on. Now fight with the doge. The doge very good here. And also the bands come out of nowhere. Bandits come out of nowhere. So be aware of that, I guess. Oh. Would you look at that? And you're trying to offer me a ball of yarn. No, thank you. Don't buy the ball of yarn. I have no use for it. Now, let's get the money. Give me rent. Thank you. And as time goes by, your roommate will start to stack up a lot of rent. A lot of money. So, yeah. Oh, look. And also the mail, also. If we needed to... If we needed the key to leave the house, how did we let the travel traveling merchant in? Good idea. How did he get in at all? Hmm. I think I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna be making two parts of the video, obviously, because I do not have this sort of time. Part I think I think part two might be released like somewhat next week. Who knows? So. I guess we'll end it right there. Bye, I see squad, I guess. What do I call you? 